My name is Hex TGO. I'm also from UTI crew in the city of Los Angeles and the FX crew in New York. I represent the West Coast and also California United, the uh, South, San Diego, all the way up to Sasquatch land over there by Doris Weed, California, man. So we got all of Cali covered. And what we do is we're working on uniting artists from the entire state. I've been doing this uh, since actually the, the 70s. I started off with Cholo Graffiti, the neighborhood graffiti. And then when we saw the New York explosion come in after 1979, Rapper's Delight, Treacherous Three, the Kumo D, Spoonie G. Man, there's a bar right there. So 1979, Rapper's Delight hit. It hit the West Coast like a like an avalanche. All of a sudden, you see the Funky Four Plus One. Uh, you see Spoonie G, the Treacherous Three, Super Rhyme, and it was just on from that point on. We got pictures of what was going on in the New York subway system. Zephyr, Dr. Revolt, Wish, Duro, all of the old school guys, and uh, very fragmented photos before subway art was released. So here, we didn't have anybody busting like that. I took it upon myself to pioneer in the city of Los Angeles, uh, all through Wilmington, Carson, Long Beach, South Central, downtown LA, East LA, and that pretty much spread. Back then, what we had was the original poppers, uh, boogalooers in the, in the city of Carson. I know a lot of the guys from the Blue City crew, a lot of the guys from uh, uh, from time zones and uh, all kinds of guys that were that were getting down in the urban streets of Los Angeles after the Vietnam era. That's what I did back then. Pretty much pioneered the Los Angeles graffiti in the southern regions from downtown all the way out to the Long Beach Pike. And, uh, and from that point on, it just kept evolving. During the 80s, um, that's exactly what took place. Uh, 1985, we had the, uh, the Olympics come to Los Angeles, 84, 85. And that was the explosion of the graffiti art culture, the break-in, a lot of the hip hop scene went from there. But you gotta understand one thing, it did not land in a place that had no foundation. What happened in, uh, in the pre and post Vietnam era, here in the beautiful city of Oakland, uh, with the Black Panthers, a lot of the, the community activism that was going on, same exact thing was happening in Watts, uh, with the Watts riots uh, in East LA with the Brown Berets. So all of this urban animosity, all of the Mexican, the Latins, the, uh, the Blacks, uh, all of the people that were being downtrodden by the system uh, during the Johnson, the Kennedy administration, we were the ones that were sending out to Vietnam. We were the first ones that were out there, you know, blowing up cities and, and they called us baby killers, our uncles, our fathers. When they came back from the Vietnam War, they came back to an environment where they did not get the medals and the parades that they did for World War II, World War I. They came back to a city that had so much animosity, so much racism, so much down uh, treading of our culture and our people that it was a massive depression that came in. Massive drugs were hitting the streets, suicide levels like you couldn't imagine. And the people were screaming out for justice. This was a foundation of what we started. All we had were spray cans. All we had were, were poets that, that can speak, that can write. All we had were the tools that were around us and things that we had to just make up. And that's what hip hop is about. Using whatever you have in your hand to change the world. And so that's the foundation of the art form that I was born into. And that's what developed in all of California. South all the way to north, north all the way to south. This is what we're doing today. I'm here in the beautiful city of Oakland with pride and joy to be able to re uh, be representing our people, our cultures. And we're, I'm here at Oakland's very own OVO, 
doing a mural, we have some of the the heroes of our culture from this city and this town dating all the way back to the to the mid the early the mid uh 1900s so here we go we start off with curry uh the golden state warriors and and what what a pride that the neighborhood that the town is taking to be able to say that we have national champions coming out of our cities, our areas, our streets, our bloodline, our people. You have Bo Jackson, you've got all kinds of people lined up, as well as what's gonna be going on on the inside with the Black Panthers that are gonna be represented, as well as the inside of the facility with the murals that are being put on by Oakland Terminal. So that's what it is, it's a collaboration uh, with the brothers here at OVO and the uh, representation that is happening with Oakland Terminal. And I'm Hex, California United. I'm here with Kazoo, and uh, we're getting this done, my brother.